25,000 years ago of an ostrich eggshell discovered in the close vicinity of the cave complex and also the painting of an ostrich help establish the date of the paintings as the ostrich is an extinct animal in India. The site is indeed so rich that wherever one scratches out comes some prehistoric find or the other. The approach to the adjoining areas before one ventures into the deep wooded interiors is rich in antiquity. There are archaeological mounds where ancient pottery, bones and microliths are scattered over a very vast stretch of land. If these mounds were dug up, one could, according to Dr. Dwarikesh, discover relics of civilizations thousands of years old. Ancient temple ruins signify a city lost in the sands of time. In the neighborhood is a unique village set amidst monuments and temples of great antiquity. The village, named after the Pauranic king Uttanwad, has huts which are extensions of the monuments themselves. This exquisitely crafted gate is the archway to a hut. These priceless sculptures are what one finds in most backyards of this one in a million village. And this newborn calf is relishing a meal from an archaeological receptacle. Ancient temples abound in statues dating back several centuries. But nearly all of them are in a state of decay. There is decay due to neglect, vegetation, and growth of weeds. Their state is similar to those of the cave paintings whose very survival is now threatened due to the fires that are made by the dacoits to cook their food. And then are the elements of nature. Their preservation, research and excavation would yield remarkable links to trace the evolution of prehistoric man in this subcontinent. Before everything goes up in smoke, is inundated by water, or wiped off by the exigencies of weather, something must be done, and done before it is too late. <laughs> 